it seems to me that people are certainly unruled by their emotions. Even the most uh, intellectual people seems to me behind it all is the, the emotion. Or maybe there are egos, too. It's, it seems that reason kind of takes the second choice here, and they go with their emotions just about every time. An unaware person's life is mainly based upon mental and emotional concepts. And once in a while, there are some intuitive insights that one catches along the way. The old term, they are squares, is very true. As most people have been victims of circumstance, so they are more and likely to live a lifestyle in their literal sense. There is nothing wrong with any lifestyle, as all of us have plenty of ways to choose from and to live. A car is a mental concept, as it was put together with material parts. The car will not last, as all mental concepts have proven that they are temporary. The earth is a playground for all the inventive. And all of us are temporary. All of us learn through what we have decided here. But what we're doing here has nothing to do with the true reality. I, the true sense, that it is real has nothing to do with the true reality. The true sense that it is real does not take part in a lower creative process, except to enter the real awareness of those who are open to it. It's always an individual choice how creative one wants to be, as there is no such thing as sacrifices or to the real reality as there are with the gods of man. The basic formulas for most people is mental concepts and emotional stimulus. These two areas of experience rule hearts and minds of almost all humans. And as history has shown, the two will never fulfill what they are intended to do because they really cannot. There can be no true contemplation here, but only the striving for something that cannot be obtained with the five lower vehicles. The upfront reality of mental and emotional involvement only has come down to the basics of sex and money. With the rep system, these two aspects of people's lives are the main issue. And as moral issues that are used to manipulate others. They have made the rules and regulations so that they will have their hand in whatever anyone does. And without doing any of the work themselves, the real universe is. Everyone is self-sufficient and works with each other. But in the three lower levels of creation, there are gods lords and rulers over the masses. The two heavens of man are mental concepts based upon emotional attachment which keep most people going there and then returning again and again from more future unconscious lives. These heavens are the appointed areas 
by the rep system. Everywhere on Earth, his presence is applied through various means, such as the money one has and the in the God we trust. Concepts and Ideas This is a marketing tactic set forth by the controllers to keep people under their rule. Even though the basic lifestyle has always been sex and money, it's interesting to note how the rep systems always take the moral side, which they invented, of the implications of these two and should be held only under their control. Yet, they continually display their gaudy show of love, while many of their followers are in the street and starving. To this day, the rep systems have huge secret involvement with money, sex and drugs, legal or otherwise. It's a wonder why history keeps repeating itself and is headed for self-destruction once more. That's a pretty big order. But it sure sounds like this is true. You look around and by golly, that's what's happening. You know, we're ruled by money and sex and uh, emotion and very little else. What do you say? Uh, well, it's interesting in the news that all the presidents, uh, he's friends with some of them. You know, it's, just, it's a way to catch people that use sex or money as bait. And it's just something that's uh, used, used for uh, uh, entrapping people. So we see it in politics all the time, you know. Um, blackmailing people who have an affair or something, you know, tell you know, money. Um, or, you know, money laundering, money uh, taking bribes to certain things. Just, it's almost commonplace. And whether they report it or expose the politicians, that's another thing. They keep it quiet and they expose them if they don't agree. It's all a game that those two things, yeah, sex and money, are used for leverage uh, on people because people are vulnerable, you know, we're human. So these are shiny, glittery things that we're always uh, you're faced with um, in humans. The, with the new you and the real guides, we can get, uh, we can still have these things that get also get beyond and we get more objective viewpoint, more of a um, not being trapped by them because we see them for what they are and we can be um, in a way disinterested, have a disinterested view, utilize them but be disinterested like the real guides are. When they're in the creation, they, they still are immersed in it certain ways that they're not they're not the effect of them. But we wanna we wanna be caused. We wanna be caused so, um it just makes more sense for us to bottom for each of one of us. Yeah. Very, very true. Yeah. Good insight. The web system are responsible for a lot of nightmares in people's lives. Just by all the mistakes and professional medical rhetoric. These officials have learned to enter people's dreams and do them harm. This world is filled with a lot of black magicians and many of them are hired by the authorities. When a person learns to be self-sufficient, 
they no longer need the various controlling systems. Until a person has real guidance and has shown the various levels of life and how they correspond to ourselves, then those who do not listen will continue to experience the same effect as they always have. The idea here is to learn to rise above and see beyond the artificial officialness. The information I'm providing is the first step. In other words, what I'm presenting gives a person an idea of what they're getting themselves into. There never has to be an act of rebellion at all, but one of becoming more aware as the real guide gently assists one into the real universe where a person can see all of creation because most people lack any type of courage. They will be left to themselves on earth with all that takes place. As a person learns about their world and dreams, they will eventually be able to rise above their dream arena and have a better perception of how life works for everybody. All persons think and feel what they desire, and so this is what takes place in a person's dream. A person thinking is censored in countless ways by their emotions, and that one's desire of their life is fitted into preconceived mental patterns. Very few people understand that the consciousness of what has been established is actually censored thought, even though most consider their lives to be different and their thinking and is free and their thinking is free. <laughs> I'm laughing. And I think um, Lido's Corner is just about ready for bedtime, too. <laughs> So, any last comments here? Oh, yes, just, yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, okay. Yes, this, these experiences we're all having um, and our imagination that we have, if we use it and Try to imagine how wonderful life can be compared to how we see all of the stuff on earth that we would we don't want to experience anymore, all this warring stuff and disease stuff and well it just goes on and on, poison air, water, food, and Wi-Fi, mind controlling, how they keep everybody focused on sex and money. Uh, it's so important, whether it's through the alcohol, you're, you're going to have a happy life and be able to all get together and drink and go to these um, sports events or on and on. It's just where a person gets to focus um their attention um well we see it in the religions too people focus their attention there and and they have those words faith belief and hope that um they think is real that that creates something that it never will i'm just thankful for the real guidance and uh, real education I'm being given by patiently getting what I'm given and treasuring it. So I appreciate like Lila and Val putting out this effort to um, to try to share with others something wonderful.
Yeah, it seems like, they, you know, people, are, we're all stuck, and I guess most people are stuck. Really, they are. They just can't imagine that there is something. They think it's a, it's a play in the sky, an imagination, that it isn't real, that the boys are not real, that this isn't real. And only, you know, they've got a, they're opinionated, and they're stuck with that opinion. I don't know whether whether they feel that uh, we're just, you're just odd when you hear something else. And because um, they've got, they're pretty opinionated and very, uh, boy, this is, I'm right, you know. And um, they just have to open your mind and your heart. Life is big. It's huge. There's so many uh, exciting things just to see and to look at and to do and to experience, you know, why are they just really looking at, at just their lives of eight to five and weekends with barbecue and everything? There's, there's so much more going on than just that. Life, is, life can be a really, really beautiful, even though they think they've got the love of their life. Have they really? So. Those are all big questions I think people um, need to ask, and uh, and most of them don't want to ask. It's it's people that that uh, have a a bolder way of living, maybe more um, more open minded to what life really is, you know. Well, anyway, Val, do you want to say a few words? Yeah, my experience with with all this is it's never what I think it is. If I do think or if I imagine something, it's never what what I imagine, consider, think, or or I don't believe that way I even see it. It's always better. It always turns out better. And... It's just a matter of taking the, the risk to see more, but it's it's beyond the mind and imagination. So that's that's where um, you really have to investigate this and figure it out on how you can get beyond the mind and imagination and the ideas you have set up for yourself, because we do have the power of creation here. But, um, in a way, don't take don't take it personally, your, your creations, because they're they're just here. We're just using using them for our experience, so we can recognize recognize our real self and the real universe. And that's it. Thanks, Tim and Lila. Well, thank you. Who's that? I'm going to call Lila's corner to an end for this evening, and I wish everyone very happy and wonderful dreams, knowing that the all is always with us, and the sun is still shining. Good night, all.